Hello everyone, welcome back to Trevdov Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Scum, and we are in Season 3, and now Episode 36. Well, it's a beautiful morning in the Scum world, it's only just gone morning. Um, I wanted to show you guys before um, we do what we need to do for this episode, which is uh, another visit to the trader. If you can have a look in the top right hand corner, my account balance is just under 13,000 Scum Bucks. I have spent a few thousand dollars. I think when we were last there, we were up to nineteen thousand. So I've spent six or seven thousand um, scum buckaroonies, but most of it's on petrol. I've been running all over the place, which has been fun um, getting somewhere. So you can remember how we upgraded this area. Um, so now we've got this, you know, spare car down here that can bring lots of logs very, very easily. I think it's almost carrying. <clears throat> I think it might have been 28 or 30 logs with me carrying one as well. Something like that. It's a lot. Makes building stuff a lot easier. But I've moved the kitchen upstairs and I started to create the upstairs area. So, so we've got this little canopy just on the corner here. But then we've got this little run down the side. Just in case it rains, we can still get into here undercover. But look, I've kind of got this little area from here going this way like the kitchen area so I've got a little bench got another generator that I've brought up here it's got petrol in it got a couple of little electric stove tops the gas bottle came up with it as well I'm not touching the portable gas um, burner until they fix the bug with that and I see it come through on the um, change logs I suppose but um yeah plenty of space up here um, another little area here just I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use it for um, but yeah, we can basically make this entire area into our kitchen storage area. And probably along this wall, I can easily fit six, maybe seven of these wardrobes. And I'll gradually store all the different types of food and whatnot here. Um, maybe we'll have some room in this corner. I might get rid of this cupboard, not sure yet. I started to put some wood into it, but um, I really do need a little bit of space for fridges. So I could just put them in the, in the middle, but kind of traditionally you have them up against the wall so I don't know I might might be able to put them down lower maybe I can fit a couple in the middle and only have three cupboards on each side there's just so many options but uh, yeah now we've got this area built the next stage will be to build out this area and start putting down cupboards for weapons so we can sort of have individual cupboards for the guns and stuff which I love doing because it makes it so much easier to to organize and find stuff before we go up to the trader, um, I was building, I was building this cupboard, uh, not building, sorry, filling this cupboard um, with all sorts of loot that I could potentially take to the trader. Um, I'm even thinking, once I'm ready to really go, I might take the chainsaw and a couple of repair kits uh, and the helmet if I can fit it all in, kind of thing in my backpack up there as well so we can sell as much loot as possible but in the car at the moment I have uh, in the second box which is this car too these three orange bags they're, they're basically all full of loot to, to sell so the guns have been upgraded as much as possible to a hundred percent all these locks I did exactly what Jimmy was saying oh that is brilliant hey thank you so much Jimmy for telling me that but if you lock a chest and then just remove the chest, it automatically upgrades the lock to 100%, so that's a win. Um, and so yeah, all these guys, they all have heaps of loot inside of them that I want to sell. Um, so I think this was the last one. So three bags full. I tried to upgrade these all to 100% as much as I possibly could to get as much money as possible. Um, the only problem is, uh, most of that stuff is military based stuff, so I can't sell everything just to the military guy, because if I did, um, I'm going to be left with just, uh, you know, it's not bad you can make $10,000 out of the military guy, but if I haven't taken anything else to sell to the general store, then I miss out on being able to sell s general stuff to him as well, so, which, you know, the chainsaw's not military, it's general, so a few things I've got I should be able to sell to both and at least make 10 grand I think. Um, just before we go, um, probably long term, um, 
I want to be able to stretch the base out like a big aircraft carrier almost to have more garages underneath and then the living space is more so on the top that's kind of the plan and maybe have a bit of a tower up the middle I'm not sure it'd be something like that how close is that? no way down there um, so yeah it'll it'll gradually um, grow in size but I'm really looking forward to getting a few more cars um, I reckon that's just fun. Uh, look down the track, we can sell a few of the ones we've got, get even more scumbuckaroonies, and you know, potentially there's new cars and other cars coming to the game. So, assuming they don't wipe again, um, <laughs> and if they did, I'd probably just have to start again. Like, it's just that's just part and parcel of the early access, I guess, uh, in Scum. But um, a bit annoying as it is, though. Um, part of the advantage of having bicycles and motorbikes is that you can go off and basically trade them for a car um, you know like I would love to have some way of being able to take the car that you've currently got with a trailer or something and go pick up a car and bring it back that would be nice and you know who knows they might add a little tow bar to the back of the little laker I don't know not sure but there's one thing though I had gone up to this little village um, just up the back here and there's a couple of um, garages up there I did find some wheels in those garages one um, one garage had the rear tire uh, for a motorbike it says the back wheel for the dirt bike and this one just says mountain bike wheel well you know what we're gonna try to do here uh, I don't know when you go to fix a bicycle do you need a car jack for it or you just put it on I'm not sure um, easy enough fix though we can just um, we can just put the car jack in there just in case. I am actually uh, gonna have to go for a run across to the where the bicycle is. There's a dirt bike in the big hangar on that side. It's just missing a front wheel. So if we go to the trader, hopefully, hopefully, uh, what's my metabolism like? Uh, man, okay, I'm just gonna grab a potato before we go over. Um, I just want to see if I can bring the bicycle back before we go to the trader. That was the, the main thing. And hopefully I've explained a fair bit about what was happening um, off camera. So you kind of know where I'm up to and what I'm trying to do. But um, yeah, I've got a lot of fuel in, that, um, in those wardrobes now. I've been finding a few extra um, fuel containers in the drops. Um, I've been to an awful lot of drops, uh, found a few more um, hiking bags as well, so yeah, doing, doing alright for fuel. Um, like I said, I've been, you know, filling them up as well, so that's why I've gone through so many scum dollars. Oh, there's the drop coming down over there. Yeah, I still need to condition the poor guy, he's, um, yeah, he's not, uh, still not, nowhere near as fit as he should be. Um, just sit in here and act like a leaf and a tree and a branch and whatnot till he gets his stamina back up oops not cooking metabolism yeah seventy percent he doesn't have to go to the loo urgently or anything so so we got a guy there I wonder if we can sneak past him don't want to go too close to the big hangar but Probably, I've got to go over this way anyway. As long as there's, uh, there's one guy right over towards there, yeah, we should be right. Split the difference, go between them. Don't forget when I'm coming back, I'm only on the bicycle. Yes, I can kind of hear. The worst thing would be finding there's a puppet just, just up here. So far, so good. Or even worse, finding out there's a suicide puppet up here somewhere. Can't hear any laughing, so... So there's the bike, it's still there. So let's see, what can we do with this if we can get access to it? No, it won't let me do anything? Okay, maybe it is the same. Okay, we'll put away the gun for a sec, grab that. Not searching for rocks, dudes. No, you can't. 
Can't you do anything on this bike? <laughs> Hang on. Examine. Hang on. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe we just need to grab the wheel. Why is it saying... Grab the wheel. Can I have an option to... Oh, there you go. Install mountain bike wheel. ta -da! Drive. Oh well. Not exactly how I thought it would work, but still, don't care. Got a working little mountain bike. It doesn't have a horn, does it? No. Keep, it's a bit like Seven Days to Die. I keep thinking I can ring my little ding-ding bell, but no. You can't, Trev, you can't. No, it needs a bit of a fix-up as well. Alright. But that was pretty quick. Pretty quick and easy. So down the track, if we find another car that we want to get, and it's not too far away, at least we've got a bicycle that we can ride there. We've got two now. So that's kind of handy. Alright, I guess we put this one under cover as well. Let me just get off. Has its magic stand that you keep it on. <laughs> Alright. At least the good thing about this is he seems to be able to just stand there with it, so you can kind of reverse and whatnot fairly easily. Oops. So we can go around like that, and then around like this. I feel like a, um, almost like a clown with a bicycle kind of thing. That's what it feels like. Alright, can I get off there without hitting the other bike? Ooh, just, okay. Oh, I should be able to get the motorbike out as well. Alright, well that's pretty cool. So I've done that. Um, I don't think I need that jack with me, but I'm going to see if I can squeeze in that. And that. I'm curious what I get from almost... Well, it's not exactly a full one, but... Hmm. And I have got two million pieces of clothing in this cupboard. I exaggerate not. Um, <laughs> so it's the general guy that I'm trying to visit. So which ones are the pilot glasses? Because that's what the general store takes is the pilot glasses. So if we can pile a few of those in, give myself a little bit of extra space. What else is a general piece of clothing I don't want? Tell you what, I did manage to get a lot of ghillie stuff as well. Look how much stuff there is in here, honestly. I think that might be a military helmet still, I think. And a lot of this other stuff is military stuff. As you can see, there's quite a lot of gear in here. Uh, see, they're all military. <laughs> Pardon me, I think if... Like some of the short trousers, these are military clothes. Yeah, I don't have an awful lot of like work pants and stuff that I just want to sell, I suppose. Although, I think these beanies, I'm pretty certain the normal beanies, they're not military. I'm pretty certain you can just sell these to the, to the normal trader. I'll keep a few little bits and pieces, but I think these are classed as military, I believe. Anyway, there's a fair bit of general stuff from there. What about this miscellaneous cupboard? Oh my goodness. Um, got a couple of fishing rods. Yeah, see what I mean? It gets really hard to know what, what to keep and what to throw out, but most of the stuff that I've got that I want to get rid of is probably more military. A couple of sticks of dynamite and stuff like that, TNT in there. And then there's this guy up here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can see why I'm dying to get some more cupboard space dedicated so I can put the food in the, into the correct areas. And then the rest of this stuff, there's a lot of stuff here that's, you know, could almost take the bedroll with me. There's just so many bits and pieces, but I don't know. I think, I think I'll do alright with all that. Anyway, Let's make our way up to the trader, and uh, we'll see if we can sell some gear. So I'll speed up the video, and I'll catch you guys up there. Alright, see you soon. Alright guys, we are just approaching the trader in C2. I did briefly, just briefly, stop off at the base in C2 just to um, grab an MRE to eat. And 
uh, put a cotton hoodie on because I was getting cold, I forgot to bring one up. And uh, grabbed a few other little bits and pieces, not much, just I think there was a mask or two there and a couple of other little miscellaneous pieces of clothing, so... Just stop here initially because the armoury is just in there. We'll see how we go, the general store's a fair way down. Alright, so what have we got? This is general stuff here really, isn't it? Okay. Don't you love this area? It's such a... It does look very realistic, but... And the sound of your, you know, the boots switching around. See, maybe outside the mechanics a better place to stop because you've got a bit more turning space. Anyhow, all good. Let's go down here to the general store. See if we can sell some of this kit. Welcome this friendly guy. Welcome. Feel free to browse around. Browse around. Thank you. We're Let's going to sell. Have. Now, that's not a 100% chainsaw, but it gives you a thousand bucks. So when you find them, it's probably worth trying to take them and then sell them off. Uh, so the repair tire repair kits must be mechanic. That's a military helmet. But look at these glasses, will you? Five, almost six hundred bucks from just them. So maybe these beanies are classed as military. Well, there you go, sixteen hundred and sixty-nine bucks for that. Not too bad, I guess. Thanks, dude. Make sure to stop by again. I will do. So I'll buzz over to the mechanic. I didn't bring any alcohol. I don't normally have that much. I don't find a lot in the scum world, I must say. Alright, let's see how we go with the Welcome mechanic. Stranger. Prices are not negotiable. I know. If you I want know, me to buy that, you oh, better okay. give me good price. So they're not worth much, the tire repair kits. Uh one thing we could have done with though buying uh is fuel. These are six hundred each. Uh, hang on a second. Should I get these later? Should I? Uh, I think I will. Um, I want one for the How boat. Nice I definitely want an extra one for the boat, and it's probably not going to hurt to have an extra petrol container down at the C2 base, so I kind of wanted to do that. Uh, so the rest of the gear inside my hiking bag, I believe, is military gear. So, I'll speed this up a little bit. What's up? Oops. If you're trying to rob the police, guns come unloaded. That yes, thing I registered. Know. I know, I know, I know. I know. Oh, there Kidding. you go. These Nobody are... Nobody cares. So 136 bucks for that. Oh, he... I'm not sure why the CD player is classed as a military thing, but anyway... Look at that helmet. Holy dooly. So there's another 500 bucks. Alright. Not bad. Goodbye. So just that little bit actually paid, for, almost paid for anyway, the petrol container. Uh, not sure. Oh, that's a medical glove, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, okay. Alright, go back to C2, which is where all the other selling gear is. I'm going to swap that one out. So the cream one contains the petrol container for the boat. We'll equip that. Uh, that looks like mainly military stuff. Actually, just to be on the safe side, just put that back in the car. Not that I think that will disappear. But you never know. I'm back. What's up? If you're trying to rob the guns, come unloaded. That thing registered. <laughs> so Kidding. all the Nobody all cares. locks must be general then. I don't know. All right. So let's see. We have got all of these guns that have been repaired. There's almost two and a half thousand. Gas mask and the helmet comes to just over three grand. That's not bad. 
So we have kind of made about almost 4,000 well. from the armory at the moment. So all the, the mask is definitely a general store thing. I wasn't so certain about um, the locks. The locks must be classed as general then. Unless the mechanic takes them. I highly doubt it. Alright, Trev, speed this up a bit. The rest of the gear I think I've got is military, so I have to do a short run backwards and forwards, but let's just see. If he sells well, if he buys well. them, how much Feel does he free to oh, here's he does. what I've got. So one let's gold see lock. What you have. Oh my goodness. Eight hundred bucks for one gold lock. And he's got just under eight thousand. Hang on. So that's four thousand already. And then five hundred for that. <laughs> What the? Wow, the locks are worth it. Hey, why didn't he take the other gun? Or did I not click on it? There you go. I've almost exhausted the funds I can get out of the general store, but that is awesome. Absolutely awesome. There you go. Oh, I should have been clicking bank too. I keep forgetting about that. I'll have to deposit it and lose some money on the transfer, which is a bit annoying. Make sure to stop by again. Yeah. Alright, so we've still got a gun on us. Uh, maybe I can combine it into one of the other bags. Let me have a look. Back to the C car 2 cart. So this one. It kind of has space, but I can't squeeze it in there. Is that right? Actually, unless I just squeeze it in down here, which I might be able to. Can I squeeze it into my cotton hoodie? Just have to remember that it's in my cotton hoodie, though. And the buckaroonies can sit down there. So this one is now done. So we've done dealt with the two top ones. This is all military. Wow. Okay. Alright, back we go in here. Welcome, stranger. Guns come uh, unloaded, selling. that thing registered. <laughs> so Nobody cares. He's still got over, just over 8,000. How come his trader funds just went up? It's a bit weird. Oh man, there's six and a half already. Let's get rid of this gun that's in my cotton hoodie. So up to 6,000, so CD players are worth a bit, aren't they? That's everything that I've got. Here's another 7383, wow. Oh, did the cash thing again. Stop. Goodbye. Stop giving me cash, people. So there's not a great deal left in the military guy at the moment. Box C2. So this was the last one. Oh man. Damn it! It's mainly military stuff. Um, if I put that there, I know I can definitely put this back in here. So these three have been used. If I equip that, it's just. Uh, it's, I'm sure up to TNT is actually um, military or not. We'll soon find out. We've uh, still managed to get a fair bit of dough out of this. Guns come unloaded. Visit though. That thing registered. <laughs> yeah, okay. see, he Nobody doesn't have cares. he doesn't have eight thousand trade funds, surely. Oh man, these are worth a thousand bucks each. Can he actually sell? Can I sell those? Uh, okay. No, okay. Oh, there you go. It, ref it changes back to 923. Okay. Well, let's just sell what we can within reason. How much is the dynamite? Holy crap, the dynamite's 900 bucks. Oh, look. Maybe we sell that. It doesn't... It, and we leave this as a bag that we can sell next time. Holy dooly. Alright. Stay safe. I know I have a mask in there, but... I think if I look back into this box, 
take the top one out. That's the one I'm going to still use for selling. Uh, if I take the red bag out, that's got nothing in it. Good, we'll equip that, and then we'll put that back in there. Okay, so all of these other bags are empty, just not the top left one. So I've got to remember that. Um, now we just need to visit the bank, which is just down here. Yeah, keep forgetting that. I should just do Greetings, the transaction. Customer. Oops. Can I talk to you? That's a bit... Uh, I think I went too close. I think that's the problem. Alright, so super secret number. I am depositing. Uh, how much am I depositing? Maybe 18? 18? That's probably okay. Alright, submit that. You sure you want to transfer? Yes. Another transaction? No. Check card. See you later. So, I've now got a tad over 30,000 in the account. That's more like it. Alright. Please come again. So, I guess that's it. We've done okay. Um, and there's still a bag of military stuff there, so the next time we come, uh, I don't know, I guess five to ten thousand in that military bag. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Alright, question is, should I get another container of fuel? Probably not. This guy needs a refill though, doesn't it? Okay, maybe one more. I'll get one more, then I can fill up the car with it. No light. Prices are not negotiable. One more. Thanks very much. See ya. Yeah, yeah. See you later. <laughs> uh, he's such a swell guy. fuel from container. I don't think I've actually got any space for this container in the car. So if we go all the way to the bottom, that would normally be the fuel. 40, 40, 40, 40, okay, so these are all full. See, I should be selling the katana too, I've got too much stuff. Too much stuff, Trev. What's in the fourth one? Oh, that's where I was holding the car seat. Okay, well that can be a spare one. Oh, I tell, tell you what. Could get an extra thousand bucks from the chainsaw, but then I think I was leaving it in there just in case I wanted to use the chainsaw. Mm, yeah, okay. Alright. Alright, people, I guess that's sort of like the end of the trader we might just go back um, to the C2 base I just want to go in and see if I can um, whoops oh, she's a bit slippery and slidey on this mud um, see if I can fill up the boat with some fuel actually I don't even know how much fuel the boat takes does it use a whole 40 litre container because it only does like three trips to and from the the other side and you sometimes wonder why would you fill up the boat then because I've got cars to move around so why do I need it yeah. I guess just knowing it's there and filled up ready to go if you needed it maybe maybe I don't know it could be a bit of a waste of fuel but Oh well, that was pretty good in terms of the scum bucks though, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll go off to the C2 base. So what did we have? So we made about 18,000 bucks out of that transaction. Hey, how do you how do you sell a car for 20,000 bucks or whatever? They, well, maybe they don't give you more than 10,000, but if they've got a limit of 10,000 like the mechanic has, then how many? buy a car off you that's worth more than that. Do you know what I mean? That's that's my question. Alright, let's just sneak 
down here as best we can without having an accident. Assuming no one's taken the dinghy. <laughs> a little bit of a slide there. It's funny. Alright, so we said in car two the cream one. And we were going to swap these over, equip that, go down here, see if we can fill up the dinghy again. Now, this petrol container is definitely 40 slash 40, right? So if we go fill fuel from the container, no way! So if a full 40 litre jerry can of fuel only fills the boat up about halfway. Yeah, because it would have had a tiny bit of fuel left in it. It needs two of those. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh man. Where does it put all that fuel? It must have a pretty decent sized fuel tank. Alright. Um, 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 because this is a fuel container. Uh, no, actually, maybe keep it on me because... Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's put these both in here, I think, because these are both empty. The next time I go to a fuel station, I'll remember that those are two empty ones that need to be filled up anyway, I suppose. Haven't been around here for a while. I thought I just heard a puppet. Haven't been here for a while, so let's see if there's any more loot. There's a nail. Ooh, fishing line's pretty good. Nothing else there, I don't think. There's this container. A few bits and pieces. Don't worry about the helmet. All the gloves. I guess they're things that are general items you could could sell to the trader, I suppose. Uh, okay. I don't think there's any reason, really. Oops. One one thing I did want to have a bit of a sneak look at was that remember we built two boxes up near the C2 bunker as well. Go and have a little bit of a squiz up here to see what what condition they're in, if they're still there. Because you know how sometimes it says objects expired or whatever, and it's going to disappear if you don't use it. So I'm just curious. Also, I'm curious about if they're still there. What stuff is in them? They're still here, all right. Uh, so two. Toolkit, improvised, okay, that's basic stuff. Oh, uh, we have got a few guns in here. Oh, I can hear the beeper. <laughs> He's definitely there. He's there, alright. Um, this, I'm just wondering, I might end up having to go back to the main base, because I wouldn't mind doing a C2 bunker raid again. Now that we've kind of got a little bit more loot on us and whatnot. Uh, yeah, maybe I need to take some of this stuff out. Otherwise, I'm not, uh, you know, oh, there's going to be times when I'll need it. And I won't have anything here. Yeah, I was just thinking, if I died and I came back and I was close to the C2 base, I would be going to the C2 base to get weapons and food and other bits and pieces so there's not much point trying to keep stuff here for that reason yeah some kind of reasonably good loot in here kind of hidden away a little bit alright well that might be it at least I've looked inside of both so I think what happens is every time you look inside the chest it renews the time that you've spent there I think I think I think I think Alright, I'm just going to buzz back to the C2 base. Um, yeah, well that was pretty good. That was kind of what I wanted to do, was to make sure I had um, sold a fair bit of stuff to the C2 trader, so that we've got more money in our account again, which is fantastic. 
I've noticed too that we're not doing too badly for um, fame points either. Seem to be doing quite well. Alrighty. Can hop out. He's a bit slow. Anyway, especially he's he's more slow when you're trying to get out to shoot a puppet. <laughs> anyway. Alright people, I'm going to leave the episode here, that was pretty good, um, certainly paid off trying to keep a lot of that good loot for the trader, because, um, yeah, it feels feels really good when you start to mount money up in the account, you know, you've got some uh, some options for buying stuff, or, you know, it feels easier to just go and buy some fuel when you really need it, and all that kind of stuff. So we're getting there, um, the main base is being improved, I guess, we need to do something with this little base too, I wouldn't mind building a proper shelter over the garages and stuff like that, that would be pretty cool, could do that off camera even. But anyway, if you've uh, enjoyed the video today, please help and support the channel by smashing the like button for the video, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much, cheers.